everybody. Welcome to CSDB a ASL Performance, hosted by the high school department. I hope you enjoy the show. They've worked diligently to get this going. I'll turn it over to Sabra. Sabra. Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to IETH. You might be wondering what that is. We will have somebody out here expanding upon that concept. And like Kathy mentioned, how hard the actors worked. They put a lot of time and effort in, and I hope you enjoy the show. I'll give you some basics that are very important. If an emergency should arise, we have the doors in the back of the room behind you and the door to the right of you. Uh, and you can ex exit either one of those doors. If you need to use the restroom, just quietly exit out the door right to your right, and it'll be right there on your right next to a water fountain. When the play is completed, we have some light snacks, uh, uh, and you can have those after. If you want to take pictures, absolutely. But the big important thing is here, please do not have flash, because it's very distracting to the, the actors. They worked really hard, and it just might throw them off. OK, here we go. Hi, everyone. I'm Duche, your MC for this evening's performance. I'm going to talk to you about what IETH is. Before I start, before the show starts, I want to explain exactly what this concept is all about. So if you picture two worlds, we have Earth, and then we have IETH. Earth is just your average, you know, obviously Earth, everyday life we have here on Earth. And then if you can picture a planet far away, we have the Ayeth. And the reason it's called Ayeth is because deaf people, all deaf people who sign, they use their eyes receptively to learn everything. They communicate with their eyes. So this is a sign for it, and that's the name. In the show, you will see different examples and different actors all based around this concept of Ayeth. You'll see um, different service people, some entertainment, a variety of different things throughout the show. I hope you enjoy. Hello, and welcome to Sign Therapy. My name is Diana. What? Oh. Sign. You need to sign. What's your name? R-O. Face it out the other way. OK, O-S-E. Mm -hmm. What is your sign name? Like this, Rose. I'm going to teach you the alphabet, OK? Mm. What, what does the alphabet start with? I don't know. Sign. Starts with A. OK, A, B, uh, C. I don't know. You need to sign. I'm so frustrated. She keeps hitting me, hitting me really hard on the mouth. I don't know why. I don't know why. This is a deaf public school, and you're required to sign here. And speak spoken language is forbidden, and you'll be hit with the ruler if you do so. Hello, everyone. Hello. 
I'm Raphael, and I'm a junior, and my performance is called Airplane. This will not be voice interpreted. Hi, my name is Angel. I'm a sophomore. This will not be voice interpreted. The title is Restaurant Menu. Hello, I'm Julio, I'm a freshman, I'm sorry, junior, and I will be performing water running. This will not be voice interpreted.
Hi again. I hope you're enjoying things so far, enjoying the show. So I want to take this opportunity to tell you, expand upon Julio's story a little bit. So really, these are like true stories, um, two true stories. In Ari- a, couple of a, couple, a couple in Arizona um, had planned a trip in another area. So they decided, get everything at home, all set to go so they could go out on this trip. They take off. But they forgot that the shower was still running. The water in the shower was still running. They had left it running. They were going to be gone for a whole month. Can you believe it? So of course, the water flooded in their home. They returned home, and they realized everything was flooded. They didn't know what to do. They called their insurance company, and the insurance company denied their claim because they said it was their fault. You know, nobody came in and turned it on or anything like that. But it's something that deaf people tend to do, leave the water running. Now, deaf employment, deaf jobs, a lot of times you think you know, of deaf people being successful and whether or not they can be successful in different categories like police officers, the military, restaurant servers, <coughs> entrepreneurs, a variety of different things. And throughout the show, you'll see deaf people in all of these occupations and being successful at them. I heard a rumor that the water has caused so many floods and so many problems and they're spending all this money. But I'm able to save my money because anybody that has problems with flood, deaf people will be covered. Not the hearing people. So we'll all be able to save so much money. Thank you, which is great news for us. Hi, I'm Norbertina. I'm in 12th grade. Hello, I'm Steven, and I'm a sophomore. I'm Jose, I'm a sophomore, and hello everyone. My name is Xavier. I will be playing the role of the policeman, and I am a freshman. The title of this is The Surgery, Surgery Room. Please give me my tools. Do you need more blood typo? What? I don't understand. I don't understand. Take these. Take these. No. We need type A, B blood. Oh, okay. Mm -mm. We need to switch out the tools. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Robert Reynolds, and I am a senior, and I'll be performing construction. 
Hello? Hello, how you doing? I'm doing well. If you want to take a seat. What did you learn from college? I'm just interested. It's being interpreted right now. Oh, yes. I learned so much in college, so many different things. The major that I was in was great, and I learned so much. It wasn't easy, though, but I did it. OK. Why are you interested in working at this company? Interpret, 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 interpret. <laughs> because I want to help make the world a better place with renovations and construction and just make the world a beautiful place. Beautiful roads, beautiful paths, have uh, like utilities. Good, I'm glad that you came for this interview and I'll be emailing you soon, thank you. Interpret, 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 interpreting, interpreting. Yes. The email said, congratulations, you've been hired. Uh, thank you for coming in for the interview. And tomorrow, come on in, and congratulations again. So the first day. OK, what you need to do, you need to get the screws these larger ones, and make sure they're fit just right. Oh, no, no, oh, boy, oh, oh. no, no, not, you need the small, tiny ones. They're right there, this, this one right here. Day two. OK. You need to fix the roof. You don't need to paint it. You have to have the, the top sitting perfectly. Oh, no, no, it's not supposed to be like a T-shape. It has to be meet at the top. Day three. What am I doing? What am I doing? OK, the interpreter will be with you from now on. You need to go ahead and paint a uh, pathway. We good? Perfect. 
Oh, two days. Yes, two days. It's been such a struggle between the two of us. Finally, he gets it. It's been horrific. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, all that money we spent on the interpreters. <laughs> All of you, okay? Halt! What? That's a place. Get on your knees. Oh. Hi, everyone, again. Hope you're enjoying those few about deaf people working. So you've seen a, a lot of skits. Next, it's going to be like the service injury for industry. For example, restaurants. You know, if you, deaf people go into a restaurant and the service is right there, ready to go. Well, I'll give you some examples about those different things in our next skits. Hi, everyone. I'm Timothy. I'm a senior. My title is The Church. There's one hearing man walks into a church sees a group of people signing, having a great time, joking with each other, sees all these people signing, looks at another group, also having a great time signing with each other. And everybody's like, who's that strange man looking at us? They all start looking at the hearing man and thinking, who's that guy? They continue to talk. Hearing man walks in, sees this beautiful cathedral with a cross at the front. He walks in, sees all of the pews, everybody sitting around signing, having amazing conversations with each other. He walks in, takes a seat, very quietly sits down. Someone signs to him, hi, how are you? He gestures that he has no idea what is being said. The deaf person's like, hey, look at this guy. He's hearing. He doesn't know sign. Can you believe it? And the hearing guy's nodding, thinking, OK, all right, just watching what's going on. There's an interpreter that stands up front. The deaf people ask, what do we need an interpreter for? Is there a hearing person here? The interpreter says, yes, there's someone hearing here. I don't know who. I'm just interpreting for this person throughout the day. No big deal. All the deaf people are like, oh. And they're thinking, hey, I wonder who it is. So the pastor comes in says hello to the congregation, does all the introductions, welcome to church, welcomes everyone, everybody's saying hello. And then the, the preacher looks over and thinks, an interpreter? Oh, OK. Who's hearing? Come on up. Whoever's hearing in the room, come on up. So the interpreter voices that. Will the hearing person please come up? The hearing person thinks, oh, geez, I have to get up walks up to the front, and the preacher says, come on up here. Come on up. The hearing man walks up timidly. And the pastor, the preacher, says, turn around, face everybody. Everybody is watching him. 
And deaf people are all in the room are like, can you believe that? That's so awful. He's hearing. That's awful. Look at him. He's hearing. The hearing person has no idea what everybody's saying. The preacher says, please join me in prayer. Everybody, please join me in prayer. Please stand and let's pray for this man. He lays his hands on the hearing man's ears and says, okay, everybody, and smash. Are you deaf now? And the hearing man says, yes, I'm deaf. Yay. <laughs> I just want to warn you, the very beginning of my skit will be interpreted. The second half will not be. The title is The War Zone. I'm Andrew, and I'm a sophomore. There's a sign, number one rule. Hearing people are forbidden to join the military because their eyesight is not very good. Deaf people, they have amazing eyesight. They catch everything, they see everything. They see the bullets coming. They're incredible, okay? Hi everyone, I'm Alexis, I'm a junior. My title is Public Deaf School. So let me explain a little bit. So you know here at CSDB, Colorado School for the Deaf and the Blind, my story is about CHS, Colorado Hearing School. All the hearing people have disabilities, it's considered disability, they have to go to sign therapy, they have to have interpreters, they um, have deaf teachers, very limited sports here, like basketball, volleyball, track, football, that's it. You know, very low in education. You know, all the deaf public schools are out there, except uh, they're really good, they are great in sports, they have all the different sports, um, really high education, they have track, uh, in all the de public deaf schools. No need for interpreters. Everything is set. Everything is set for the deaf people. But here at the hearing school, hearing people have to match deaf people. They have to communicate what the deaf people are saying and how they communicate. They have to be just like the deaf people. All the hearing people have to change who they are to match to meet the deaf people in order to communicate with them as the hearing people are the minority. It's so different at Ayeth. It's so different. It's amazing. It would just it would be all over that deaf people were the majority. Thanks. 
Oh, welcome. Welcome to the Deaf Hamburger Place. What can I get for you? I want a double hamburger, please. Can do. <laughs> what do you want to order? I'll have chicken. OK, she'll have some chicken nuggets, four piece. And I would like a salad. OK, that'll cost you $18.49. Thank you. Order number one. Thank you. I'm here again. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying everything so far. One thing that came to mind that I want to tell you about, like related to fast food, McDonald's. And I, well, who likes McDonald's? You like McDonald's, right? Oh, just a couple people. All right. But it came to mind it would be so cool. McDonald's on I, the communication would be amazing. It would be perfect. The food would come right away. It would be wonderful, like 30 seconds. That's what I would hope for. That would be so nice. So now we're going to move on to my favorite part, incredibly fun part of the show, entertainment. You know, different things that we do for fun, you know, things that make us laugh, some really interesting things. I hope you enjoy it. Hello, I'm Isaac, and I'm a freshman. Hi, my name's Oben, and I'm a senior. We will be doing Deaf Dog. I'm the owner. I'm the dog. This will not be voice interpreted. Hi, everyone. I'm Allie. I'm a sophomore. The title is Beach. This will not be voice interpreted.
Hello, I'm Luis. And I'm a sophomore. And I will be doing an A to Z story about soccer. Hi, I'm Obed. I'm a senior. It's my side name. Hi, I'm TJ, and I'm a junior. Our topic is deaf motocross. Go ahead. The garage door opens. Bikes all lined up. Ooh, wow, look at these shiny bikes. I can't take it. Woo! Look, I am ready to go. Let's go. I'm ready to practice. Let's go. Okay, first off, do you know how to get the bike started? Of course. Okay, let's see it. <sighs> hmm. Um, huh. I want to go really fast. I want to go really fast. Let's do this. You don't have to worry about the speed right now. You don't need the speed. So let's try. Let's try to do it. Which one should I use? Which bike should I pick? The second one from the left. The second one? Whatever. All right. Ugh. This one? OK. Let me get on. Hmm. Uh, oh, um, what do I do to start it? Oh, boy. <laughs> Remember, you have to put, put like this? Does this work? <laughs> How's this? Oh, it's not working. No, you get your right foot. Oh my! Oh, that pedal, the right foot. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let me take a breath. All right, here we go. It's starting. All right, I got it. I got it. Let's go. Revving it up a little bit. Oh no! Oh, struggling oh. a little bit. Uh, oh. Okay, it's not working. You gotta give it some gas. <laughs> oh. It's right there. Oh, well, OK, I didn't know. All right, whatever. Here we go. Oh, yeah. OK, so which should I go on a very flat road or that one that's really hilly over there? Which one should we do? Let's start with the flat track. That one. Mm-hmm. Oh, ugh. all right. Super flat. This is so boring. Ugh. Great. Now can I go on the other one? Let me show you first. Ugh. Watch what I do and follow me. Got it. All right. <laughs> I got this. All right. I'll pray for you. Say a prayer first. <laughs> please, 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 please don't make me crash. Come on, bike. <laughs> okay, that's how we pray. There you go. Okay. That's it for the day. Let's go clean up. Hmm. OK, now I was supposed to do this, this, and this. OK, ready, all set. All right, let's head out over to the track. All right, so we get to this big track. Wow, look at all this. All these lights shining, glistening. Look at all these lights all flashing in my face. So where are we going to ride? See that track over there? It kind of 
has all these curves and twists and turns. All right, and I see that big hill. Ooh, look at that girl. Whoa, I need to go talk to her. Look at her. Wow. Hey, hey, focus on what we're oh, doing. Oh, okay, whoa, 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 okay. Right, 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 yes. I, I just forget about the girl. Okay, I'm ready. Should I start or are you gonna start? How about Me? It? Me? Yes. All right. I need to pray again. <laughs> please, 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 please let me win. I want to go really fast. I want to get first. I want that girl to hey, totally hey, want me and come hey, over here. Hello, She's hello. so beautiful. Oh, hello. Oh. Hello. Sorry, that's how I pray. Okay. Look at all these bikes. Everybody's looking at me. <laughs> He's not that great. He's a rookie. All right, here I go. I want first place. Here I go, go. first place. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. Hello, I'm Brooke. I'm a junior. Hi, I'm Priscilla. I'm a sophomore. The title is? I Movie Theater. People tend to go in the movie theater hearing people. They're about to watch the movie. Just a regular movie. It's cool. Or and hearing people go to watch a movie, and they can look at the selection. They buy the ticket. Uh, they make it their way into the theater, uh, choose a seat, and wait for the movie to start. Deaf, however, have to go in. They get their ticket. And then, oh yeah, that's right. We have to get that screen, that caption device, put it in the cup holder, sit down with this screen, try ah, to adjust it. My ears. Make, you know, I'm trying to adjust it. It's making a noise, I'm trying to get it to set up right in my seat. Err. Oh. Oh, the deaf people, I didn't realize they had to do that. I mean, this is perfect. I can hear everything easily. You're so lucky hearing people just come in, they're watching the movie, they totally understand it. No problem at all. Deaf, I just wish there was a caption on the screen. I really wish. On IF, we're here. They have movies for the deaf. It's a quiet place. I'm so excited and thrilled that we all get together and watch this movie. A hearing person comes in. They think, hey, the movie, the quiet place, that's great. We'll go in, we'll pay, get our ticket, sit down. All right, we're good too. And the movie starts and all it is is sign. How enjoyable for me. The hearing person's thinking, what, uh, what, hey, uh, what, what's, excuse going, me, what's going know. on? I don't hear, oh, oh man, look at this, she doesn't understand. <laughs> I'm out of here. You see, deaf people get to just sit and watch this movie. It's in sign, this is incredible. Mm -hmm. We can do can this, you can you imagine, imagine that? So cool. So I hope you enjoyed that last part. Did you guys like it? Me too. So the next part is technology. On IAT, there's so many different things that are absolutely amazing. We have technology that is amazing. All of these deaf inventors create all of these amazing things for us on IAT. It's just amazing, beautiful for all the people on IAT. For the play, you'll see a lot of um, really high tech things and some extras coming up as well. Okay, please enjoy.
Hello, it's Priscilla again, and I'm a sophomore. And I will be performing Forever Maybe. My poet poem will be, it will be a combination of uh, visual vernacular and poetry. <laughs> Heavy blue eyes filled with the wonder in skies. Your kiss tasted like July 4th fireworks erupted in the midnight sky. I wish nothing more than you in my arms. Sure, time goes by fast as leaves evolving with the world. Things get hard as wind blowing against his judgment. Black shadow awakens in harsh winter of December. Dark hours still can't be any brighter in spring days. Now summer is coming closer and closer. I think I can taste the July once, I can't taste the July once more. Melancholy song is singing loud. Light rays came through the curtains. That moment I recognized. Warm breath, perfume hug. I don't think I want to taste July anymore. Maybe forever? Hello, I'm Allie, and I'm a sophomore. I'm Chantelle, and I'm a junior. And we will be performing Doorbell in Technology. A to Z and 1 to 10. 10 to 1, 1 to 10. And I'll be using 3, 5, and 1. Hello everyone, I'm Reyes, and I'm a junior, and I'll be doing an A to Z story about storms. This will not be voice interpreted.
Hi, everyone. My name's Francisco. I'm a senior. The name of my story is The Bull, No Voice, voice Interpretation. One to 10, and then 10 to one. Thank you. Hello, I'm Tristan, and the title of my performance is Deaf Phone. We have two separate groups. They are on Earth using your typical phone. So again, it's your typical phone for hearing people. Hearing people use this phone for many reasons. First one, for sound. Secondly, there's no vibration. Third, there's no texting. Um, it's only, it's not ASL texting, it's only in English. And there's no video phone on the phone for the hearing on Earth. Now, let's go talk about the phone for the deaf. Uh, the, deaf phones, de the deaf phone has no sound. It does vibrate. It has a flashing light. Say a deaf person goes to a restaurant and the deaf are chatting with one another they'll see the phone blink, and it will let them know and alert them know that they have just received a call or whatnot. Um, and the text is all in ASL. And it also has a video phone, so you can communicate over the video phone with sign. My name is Sarah. I'm a freshman. And the title of mine is Music. And this will not be voice interpreted.
Hi, everybody. I'm Jeremiah. I'm a sophomore. Hello. I'm Jason. And I'm a fresh junior. The title is Boxing. This will not be voice interpreted. Unfortunately, we've come to the end of our performance. I really hope you enjoyed it. I want to say a special thank you to the film crew over here, Austin, Sean. Thank you all so much, Daniel. Thank you to the interpreters as well. Thank you so much. And also, I personally want to say a big thank you to our host, Sabra. Thank you so much, Sabra and Kathy, and Miss Hilty. Thank you all so much for allowing us to take on this show and host it for you all this evening. Thank you so very much. And thanks to all of you for coming and watching us. That was amazing. If you weren't watching us, then well, what's the point? What's the show for, right? So a big thanks to all of you. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed it. Big round of applause. Everybody come on out. My last favorite part that we want to do is let's have some refreshments. I'm starving, okay? Let's go. Everybody ready to eat? Let's go.